in the uh, first two viruses, uh, the quarantine was for, for everyone it was 21 days, uh, which is a long time. Businesses have a difficult time to survive with 21 day quarantine. Um, then it got reduced to 14 days and uh, now we're able to get it reduced to seven days for Hong Kong. Um, the thing was that uh, when the virus was taking off everywhere in the world, um, the, the virus uh, during the Alpha Delta time, everyone in the world was trying to suppress the virus, you know, and telling people to get vaccinated. Because at the beginning, many countries, no one knew what it was, but they knew vaccination was really the way forward. And, but many people, of course, didn't want to get vaccinated. China, on the other hand, came up with a slogan, which was uh, Dynamic Zero. Dynamic Zero did mean to get down to zero. It means as soon as the virus comes out, you suppress it. Same as everywhere else in the world was doing. Um, the problem was it became a political thing between West and the East. They were suppressing, <laughs> we were doing Dynamic Zero. Same thing. But in the end, of course, uh, Omicron came and, and uh, people were, were getting vaccinated. Those people that were, that were not vaccinated, uh, maybe if they caught it, many of them died. And, and especially the elderly did not get vaccinated in Hong Kong. But what happens with the vaccine everywhere, if you look at around the world, same vaccine, uh, with the uh, infection, same virus. And so what happens is after you suppress it enough and after more enough people get sick or, or, or catch it, uh, and if the vaccination rate goes up, um, then it starts to peak. And it's happened everywhere in the world. You know, but, but enough people have to be vaccinated and, 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 uh, and infected. Uh, Hong Kong, I think maybe 4.5 million people have been infected. And now our vaccination rate in Hong Kong is 92% for the first vaccine, 85 or 86% for the second vaccine, and the third vaccine is also around 60%. So, I mean, we're getting pretty, pretty well uh, vaccinated and enough people have caught it. Unfortunately, because of the care homes, uh, many of the elderly did not get uh, vaccinated and uh, they caught it. And, and we have over a thousand care homes in Hong Kong and many people died. You know, because if you have a pre-existing condition, there's a good chance, uh, even though it's not a, a strong disease, but if you have pre-existing conditions, then it will affect you very badly. And they couldn't survive. Also, the flights, the nine countries were banned from coming to Hong Kong. Uh, and then the government, uh, again, I was pushing the government to uh, open up. And, uh, uh, you know, and because when the nine countries were banned from coming to Hong Kong, their infection rate was higher than Hong Kong. But now our infection rate is higher than them. There's no reason to keep it banned. But uh, the thing was, we really saw the dependence on China during this virus, you know, because uh, um, the hospital beds were not enough. Hospital Authority, the public hospitals, which we used to pride ourselves, we thought was the best thing, absolutely now uh, was overrun and, and people couldn't get to it, they needed to get to the hospital. Say old people, there was just no beds for them. Even in one case, originally a mother and, a, and an 11 month old uh, daughter were separated from the hospital that caused headlines around the world and was very damaging to Hong Kong. But so I think that uh, we now can see the light at the end of the tunnel. As I think, as it comes down, I think by the end of April, we should be, if everything's okay in, in single digits, maybe a few hundred cases. Uh, and and uh, so people have more confidence now. They can go out, they feel like they're vaccinated. Uh, so there's a different mood in Hong Kong. And uh, the border with uh, the mainland will hopefully be open in the fourth quarter. And international, I'm hoping, maybe even before. So um, people who have left Hong Kong, because many people were talking about leaving, and, and uh, they did, you know, and, and uh, the media reported many people going to the UK or going to Canada or other countries, Australia. Um, I've been through this before. I've said this, many, many people leave, but then they go to the 
foreign country. It's not really what they had in mind. They felt much more comfortable in Hong Kong once Hong Kong is open and no more quarantine. Suddenly, you get people starting to come back again. I've seen it happen in 1997. Um, many people left during 97, during 98, 99. Many people can't move back to Hong Kong. And I believe the last half of this year should be very, very good business-wise because it's what they call revenge spending. People just generally are tired of sitting home every night, having dinner at home because you can't go out. There's no, nothing opened. And uh, some people get tired of cooking at home or, or dining in from a takeaway. And I think that uh, we'll be back going out and getting back to a life that we all know. Well, I think that for the small and medium-sized enterprise, uh, the, you know, many have closed down because they can't survive, you know. So there's a lot of uh, empty space. If you walk around Hong Kong, you can see many shops with uh, si signs to let, you know. Um, and I think now, once the economy starts to come back again, uh, you'll see many new, new businesses opening up, many new restaurants, clubs, bars, gyms, everything, everything that's, that's closed, Hong Kong will get back to normal. Uh, for those smaller businesses, they now have uh, the employment subsidy scheme, which the government has just announced that they will uh, give to every business, you know, that, that was closed down. Um, and that will help a lot, um, I believe, as well. Uh, concessions from rents, from landlords, uh, Again, because a landlord needs a tenant. You have a space, you need, they have to be alive, you know, they've got to be able to, to do everything. And so I, I believe that uh, going forward, uh, once the virus is under control, which is getting there, business will be very good the last six months. And once the borders open again and tourists start coming back again, there'll be a lot of spending power and with the, with the 10,000 voucher that uh, the government has given out, a $10,000 Hong Kong dollar voucher. I think that's, again, very, very important. Uh, again, people feel rich. They, got, they have money in their pocket. Some will spend it on food. Some will spend it on other items, you know, but uh, the economy will, will, will bounce back again. And uh, the economy is like a snowball. It, it, uh, as it rolls down the hill, it gets bigger and bigger, and it'll, it'll grow. Uh, uh, exponentially and so I think I think uh, I look forward to uh, the last six months of this year <laughs>